Hey everybody, you know, my reef tank is really, really taking off. Um, this video is strictly going to be about my final thoughts on the diamond goby. As you can see, the diamond goby, check out the sand, I mean... The sand is really white all around the tank. Let me let me go back in the far back in the tank. You can check that out. Really white. That diamond goby is really working this tank. And I got some cons for this fish. I got some things that I hate with the fish with this fish do. So this is like just like a um just be cautious when you buy this fish because what I noticed, starting to notice, some um, the fish will, let's see, let's see a hole. So he will start digging out sand um, by the rocks, making a huge hole. That's one thing that I, that I found out this fish will do. And the corals, your corals on the sand bed, sometimes he will, you know, spit, spit sand out onto the corals um but i haven't i haven't noticed the fish doing that anymore um it was like the first time there he goes the first time i seen this fish when i put him first put him in the tank he started to spit sand onto my corals so that's one thing you have to watch out for but this diamond goby has not there he goes look at kicking up the sand bed right here so i mean he wants to make holes every now and then so that's just one thing you need to be aware of but yeah there's I, I like i said i love this fish look at the sand is just clean white i lo no longer have to clean you know the sand bed with when i do water changes which is a great thing you know so now i can make easy fast water changes which i love and look at this this you feel it right here just massive it's growing i have to move these two when i get done with these this video <laughs> but the tank is really doing great guys and you can see the blue star put the blue star back into the reef tank on um, and I have some bad news. The leopard wrasse did not make it. Uh, she was in here alone. Like, as you know, the blue star was in quarantine. And um, the leopard was just breathing real heavy. Did not know what happened. But, yeah. So, so the blue star is back into the reef tank. Um, I'm thinking about, you know, getting a f just a few more fish in this tank. And I think I'll be done, man. And I'm still going to load this tank up with coral and everything. S still got some some spots I got to fill up with this tank. I want I want this tank really, you know, covered with coral. <laughs> the rock work. But, yeah. Let me look down in this sump real quick. See, when that fish um stirring up that sand bed... That skimmer is really getting a hold of those um of the of those excess nutrients that's in the sandbag. So that's really a plus. And yeah, so that's what I wanted to share with you guys, man. The diamond goby is a great fish. You just have to pay attention what this fish is doing in your reef tank. So um like I said, this fish has not has not um he stopped digging holes in certain places on my tank, which is good. And he stopped covering up my corals. But when you have this fish, you have to pay close attention what this fish is doing in your reef tank. So, there you guys have it.